Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Let's see. All right, I think we can get started. So, first things first. Thank you. SC Kid, welcome. It is disco time. It is time to disco. Let's check out this bullet. The bullet is safely sealed away in a plastic bag bearing the RCN stamp. Kim has filled out the label on the bag with the item number, case number, and date and location the bullet was found. Beside his orderly handwriting, the bullet looks especially sad, like a tiny, shriveled head of cauliflower. Uh, what do I do with you, bullet? What? Well, if I was the bullet, which I'm not, I would say, find the weapon that shot me. Good idea. If we find who owns it, we will have likely found who used it, possibly to kill our victim. In conclusion, the more we know about this bullet of yours, the better. Feel the bullet. The squashed back. bullet has some sharp edges where the jacket has split open. It feels cold, even through the bag. Hmm. Inspect the jacket closer. of the bullet is made of a yellowish metal. It has blossomed out to reveal a dark grey core. The base of the bullet is close to five millimeters in diameter. Look at the you jacket. You can just about make out a few strations near the base of the bullet. Little hairlines, linear. It feels standard. And the core? It's quite destroyed. Some of the fragments are still lodged in the wound. What can you say about the bullet so far? It's a jacketed bullet close to 55 millimeters in earth. A jacketed no, bullet. Five okay. millimeters in diameter. It would have been shot from 55 millimeters would be very big. Rifle, not from a muzzle loader like those typically found on the streets of Martinez. Even the RCN uses ordinary and jacketed conical bullets. This is strange, very strange. I like this, officer. Strange means unique. Unique means incriminating. We need to find the gun that shot it. Something tells you that won't be any time soon. This will have to be one of those epic tasks that's open for a while. Ooh. I get plus four for having that antique rifle. Plast cop, welcome to the chat. Good evening to you as well. Uh, I don't know if Crusader is with you, but if they are, thank you, Crusader, for the Prime subscription. Let's see. You Oops. can't remember what happened last week. What makes you think you're going to remember arcane firearm models? OK. Anything else I can do with the body before we... Uh... The man is decomposing visibly now. Every hour. Let's bag him. All right. There go those beautiful enamel boots. You will never... I will need a little...
This is taking quite a minute to load. Oh, and Kim is gone for the day. Oh, we're gonna have to pay our bill soon. Oh no. Hmm. And we only have one health, so I can't, like, do anything too risky. Or at least I probably shouldn't. Let me see, has our room already been locked up for the evening? Because we have that other mission to wash the smell of death off off of ourselves. So let's... Oh, there are bottles in our room. Of course. How could I forget that our character is an alcoholic? Oh, and I'm already holding the bag. Quite convenient. Oh, what's this? Empty cassette case? How many bottles can we find? Oh, there's one. There's one like dead center of the floor. Is that not actually a bottle we can take? It might not be. The window stands broke. This is not the cleanest bathtub in the world, but it's cleaner than you are right now. The bathtub slowly bath. fills with water. The water beckons. The water is only lukewarm, but still comforting, like amniotic fluid. A few beer cans are bobbing up and down along your flanks, like sad duckies. You feel nice and lonely, and so, so tired. Take the now beer cans you are back. alone with your thoughts in the tub. But it's easier than being alone with your thoughts outside the tub. They're not even really thoughts, just assorted sensations. None of them acute enough to focus on. Your fingers tub, grow pale yeah. and are covered with tiny whirls as the water cools. What are you doing? You're not some fat fish in a fucking aquarium. Time to get moving. You see Imagine the corpse. Something. You can still smell the cadaver on you. It's going to take more than one bath to get rid of that stench. Then, houses along a narrow street. A video rental. Darkness on the planet's curvature. Hmm. The yeah. waterline recedes as you stand. You are cold now. Your clothes stick to your still moist skin. There we go. We're clean. Let's see, how are we on? Oh wait, this is a, this is that song that we've been trying to find, I think. Wait, I was going to check. I could either learn Anti-Object Task Force or bump a skill point in something else. What are my skills? Uh, what? 
tasks can we not do at the moment? So there are three conceptualization ones we can do, one of which is measure head, which we're not gonna do his. Uh, leveling up hand-eye coordination gets me another shot at the bullet. I've got a rhetoric I can't do, a logic I can't do, a conceptualization again, interfacing, two physical instruments, another conceptualization. Uh, I might go do the two conceptualization checks that I have and then bump a point in that because we have a lot of conceptualization checks just kind of sitting there. Oh, and I should also go sell these uh, bottles so I can pay my rent this evening. Or I guess it's a hotel fee, it's not rent, but same difference. Hey, Crusader, now that I know you're here, I will thank you again for the Prime subscription. You are now my third subscriber. Which is pretty exciting. I should really get on uh, asking that guy to redo uh, this overlay thingy so that I can show subscribers on it as well. The tear machine stuck. Okay, let's insert our bottles. Your bottles clunk into the machine and the money. Do you know what you should do with that? We have exactly enough to pay for our hotel room. So I should go and do that. These loading screens are kind of long. I wonder if, I mean, the PS5 has been so hard to track down that I haven't even like looked at it, but if it's backwards compatible, which I feel like it would be with the PS4, maybe that will be something I invest in at some point in the future. Okay, it is. Maybe I will invest in that so that, uh, what's the word? You see a set of tire because I assume its stats are at least on par with, if not better, than the PS4 Pro. So that would probably help with all these load times. And I would have access to PS5 games, which isn't a problem yet, but could be someday. I've been wanting to play the Final Fantasy VII Remake, but I know, I think the sequel, or like the Intergrade, whatever you want to call it, is only going to be on PS5, or only is on PS5. I don't know if it's out yet. Okay, Gart, about my bill. The 20 real. I Good. have the 20 real. You got the room for the night, but remember, you'll need another 20 real tomorrow. How could anyone forget, asshole? There we go. <laughs> So 
So let's see, I have to talk to Tommy and the Union Buster lady, whose name I forget, but face I remember. Let's hit him with our best verse. Your best verse? You don't even have a bad verse in here. Just tumbleweed and liquor stains. Wait, no. What are you... That's brutal, man. But you know, time will... No, stop. He's already mortified. That's a... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I get that, and it's cool, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I get it. These are your rhymes. They're from your life. Doesn't matter if they're robust, they're honest. So, thanks, man. You know what? Yeah. But it boosted our chance to understand what we see in his eyes. So let's try that. Ease into it. Don't go too far. This seems like a personal matter. Thank you. I have hydrated. My man, I want to know about your Just soul. Just like that, he slips out of your reach. It is possible the yelling didn't help. That was a 72% chance, and I still failed it. So I would imagine this other conceptualization check is not going to go well based on how that one just went. But let's try it. Ooh, I do only have one life just in case. I'm gonna go ahead and save. I'm gonna try my best not to save scum like, I'm not just going to save before a check and retry it till I get it. But I would very much like to not redo a bunch of stuff. Uh, You're back. Good. What can I help you with? I've got more questions about this reality. More lessons in basic reality? My favorite part of the day. Go ahead. Ask me anything. Ooh, we have a plus 12 for completing Jamai Vu. I hope I pronounced that right. What is all of this? The scent, the sound, the air. What world is this? What world? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter. And its pale antipode. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. What do you see? Great bodies of water. Forest-covered surfaces, clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. There is a term of endearment they coined for it in the DeLorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these archipelagos included. What is it? Elysium. Elysium? Elysium. The world needs a term of endearment. It does. There are those who would call it hell. What is hell? A term of hatred that originates, like many such things, with the Mesk Petro-Fascists. 
I don't feel like I've got the whole picture yet. Oh, you want a picture of the world? There is no complete set yet, dear. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. How come? Great things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, sideways. Inside, sideways? What shape is this world, then? Because we don't know we if it's like Earth. It a sphere, but that is beginning to look less and less likely by the day. You wouldn't know it from the tabloids, but the ORG nations have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere since the 30s. Is she a flat earther? ORG, Occident Rimmershaw Grad. There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three scientific contributors, they're piecing together a dark gray corona. A dark gray corona? Yes. Pale covers 72% of the surface. There are gray flares and prominences, even arcs above entire isolas. The images are blurry, but if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. A cold fear seeps into you. The pale? And what do you mean, corona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. I am sorry, dear. It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. But this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut, bring us together, however naive it may sound. Oh. Okay, and then everything will be okay? I don't know about things of that scale. My expertise lies in nations and trade routes. One or several layers below everything. But yes, we'll be fine. Don't worry. She does not seem convinced that you'll be fine. If anything, she's realizing how deep your condition runs. Thanks, okay. You may have misimagined it. I don't have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's... It's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You'd love it. Ooh. Do I go with, well, if you say it's disco, because that's the title, the world's called the Elysium, and it's like a disco, and the game is called Disco Elysium, or do I say I only care about the commune, because that would go, that would go with uh, the, uh, what was it called? Oh, I can't check it while I'm in this uh, menu, but uh, I think it's like the Mazovian economics thing. I'm going to go with this because this is like the title See, of the game. Everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world, however wasted its opportunities. The cold seeps into you. The air is heavy with 80% humidity. Suddenly, you're conscious of yourself standing there, on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. What is pale? The pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. It is the opposite of reality. Okay, but what is it? A definition? Okay. 
The pale is the most dominant geological feature of the world, detective. The separative tissue between the Eastlers, it is the inter-Eastlery mass. Wait, and what is an Isola? Isola is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter, enveloped on all sides by the pale. Also, isolation, or landmass. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. Windy, Seol, Samara, Ilmara, Grad, Katla, and this in Silinde. And in Silinde is? An oceanic isola. It comprises mostly of water. Muindi is the largest, Katla the coldest, in Silinde the bluest. What can I say? Each is perishing and dear. Okay, what is the pale like? Achromatic, odorless, featureless. The pale is the enemy of matter and life. It is not like any other or any thing in the world. It is the transition state of being into nothingness. Is it here? No, detective. We're safe. It begins there, 6,000 kilometers to the north, and even more to the south, east, and west. You are in the middle of the Isola. As your gaze instinctively turns north, a small black pit opens up in your stomach. 6,000 kilometers from the end of the world. Yes. That is enough. Many cities are built much closer. And point north there? An uproar of matter, darling. Rising into the pale. Rolling. Evaporating even. A great vision. The area of transition between the world and the pale is called Porch Collapse. Imagine a grey coronal mist, cold vapour marked by spores of an opportunistic microorganism, a mould that's adapted to grow at the edge of the unrest. It's uh, the most disco thing you will ever see. You hear your pulse rise. The air feels caustic and cold suddenly. What are its physical qualities? It's difficult to describe or even measure. Something whose fundamental property is the suspension of properties. Physical, epistemological, linguistic. The further into pale you travel, the steeper the degree of suspension, right down to the mathematical. Numbers stop working. No one has yet passed the number barrier. It may be impossible. If we're surrounded by pale, how do you get from Isola to Isola? Oh, it is so difficult for us. It is possible to force dimensions on the pale. In modern times, we can even compress its latitude, bouncing radio waves from one end to the other, shortening the path. But it is still hard for humans to navigate the pale without getting lost or having our minds damaged. The pale can damage the mind? Extensively. How? Some say the damage stems from extreme sensory deprivation. Others argue that pale somehow consists of past information that's degrading, that it's rarefied past, not rarefied matter. Ooh. They call it the blend over of the self. The pale does not only suspend the laws of physics, but also the laws of psychology. Maybe history, even. The human mind becomes over-radiated by past. What does this over-radiation feel like? It feels terrible. Absolutely terrible. International standards strictly limit civilian travelers to six days of pale exposure per year. You're not a civilian passenger? No nameless detective of the citizens' militia. I am a member of the entrepreneurial business class. 
I'm cleared and trained for 22 days of pale transit annually. Do lorry drivers pass the pale? Yes. Carried in the hulls of airships. It's a horrific job. Automation will abolish it soon. You should ask the pale driver about this. See what she says. That poor woman must have stories to tell, like you wouldn't imagine. Are you over-radiated? Up to my gills, officer. What is... Entropenetic? Entropenetics is the scientific study of the pale, or a recent iteration of it by way of grad. The study of the pale reaches back 6,000 years. The Periconarsians called it the Western Plain. How charged is this controller? Sorry, let me check. Okay, fully charged. Now I can face this way. My charging cable didn't reach all the way, so it was like at like an almost a 90 degree angle. There we go. This is more comfortable. Did they cross it? Did they cross it, the Western Plain? There are signs of pre-modern crossings. Successful navigation of the Pale relies not just on technical know-how, but intensive psychological preparation. Some of these tactics have been known for thousands of years. What has entropenetics changed then? Nothing. We remain powerless before the Pale. The only real advance in pale transit is the speed with which an aerostatic craft can pierce it. Less exposure leads to less effects later. Aerostatic craft? Hybrid airships, detective. Conventional rotors or jet engines no longer add velocity after the point of reference for motion is suspended. Once you've crossed from near pale to far pale. In essence, we throw them in and they come out the other end. If we throw them precisely. If we do not? Then they don't. How much pale is there compared to the world? The pale outweighs reality two to one. There is more pale than there is matter. And the ratio is slipping. Slipping how? To our detriment or? What do you think, detective? It's shrinking. There is more and more of the world. Oh no, detective. It's not. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. An intuitive conclusion of that development is that one day the pale will cover everything. But this sort of talk is mostly left to extremists. It's not extreme at all. It's going to happen. Most people and indeed most private and government sector organizations, entire civilizations and religions even, find handy ways to ignore or downplay that knowledge. I suggest you do the same. Off we go. You see the hanged man's mouth open. Off we go into the wild pale yonder. One and all. They say pale is death. But for the universe. Why should we just leave and leave and the world get left behind? Let's return to reality, please. Yes, sweet reality. But before we do, tell me, detective. Is this the first time you're hearing this? Do you really not remember anything? I sometimes sense vague shadows of a past and it's not good. Then tell me, what do you think of the pale? Uh, its advanced can only be stopped with immediate, total, ruthless communism. Mm-hmm. You really didn't know. This does not spell good for the investigation, detective. If you don't know even this, then... I'll handle it. It's under control. 
I hope so. I truly do. If I may suggest, hold on to your colleague, Kitsuragi. I ran a check on him and he is very competent. In the meanwhile... Some of that assurance is meant for herself, as much as it's meant for you. She must have a lot on the line here. You have me. I will assist you in any way I can, even if we have to do it one basic term at a time. What times are these? These are unimportant times, Detective. You and I were born after the dust had settled. A thousandth of a second too late. Too late for what? For the big time. The smile of a predator. No doubt what she's got in mind. You've got a predatory streak. All men are predators, dear. Nothing much to be done about that. It's all a matter of where you get to file your teeth. What's the big time? The revolution. Ha, huh, and what is this revolution I keep hearing about? It's quite easy. Every hundred years or so, our species gets together to decide what's next, who gets shot in the head, and who gets the mineral rights. It's a real... kerfuffle. Would you say it was a bunch of apes duking it Why, out? Of course. We're talking Duke Out Central. Full swing, intraspecies warfare. And the apes, were they evil? No. I would say the apes were neutral. Okay, On neutral. On the other hand. Who got shot in the head? Those would be the communists. Generally speaking, 40 million people got shot in the head during the World Revolution. But the communists, they all got shot in the head. She's not gloating. It's a relieved celebration. Oh, and the anarchists too. They shot them well. So well, one forgets they even existed. Did the communists and the anarchists Did shoot they back? Ever, before they got shot themselves, they shot two million people. Sounds like they should have shot more people in the head then. Klaus Mazov shot 15 million people in the head. But that was all the way over in Grad. Anyone else get shot in the head on the opposing oh, side? lots of people. Even the king got shot in the head. Or thrown beneath a horse. Or drowned. Accounts differ. It was unceremonious. Just as well, he wasn't actually the king. Just the king's nephew. The real king abdicated and lived out a long and productive life as a venture capitalist in Grad. Uh. Cowardly king. I prefer the term risk averse. King Guillaume was nobody's fool. He could smell a PR disaster brewing, so he got out alive, and his nephew Frisell got shot in his place. Him and tens of thousands of his wonderfully fascist kingsmen. It was a wild time. Who got the, the mineral liberals rights? got the mineral rights. And by mineral rights, I mean everything. Okay, and by liberals, liberals you mean... are usually middle class people, detective. Or the remaining gentry. The beneficiaries of the pre revolutionary arrangement. Some were rich enough to stay with the constitution, with monarchy. Big mistake. Others bet on the revolution. They were called the ultras or ultra liberals. They fared well. How did the liberals win at all? They didn't win so much as survive. We were the last ones standing when the war ended. Everyone else got shot in the head, remember? If everyone got shot, who was there to surrender to? Foreign to? intervention. The coalition. Those people really took the mineral rights. Wait, you just said the liberals already the took liberals everything. The liberals took everything that wasn't nailed to the ground. The coalition took the ground. The ocean, the laws, and the people. 
for the coalition. The coalition of nations. Grad, Mesk, Vesper, Messina, Oranje, and Sieur Le Clay, the armed center of the world. They landed here and ended the revolution. It was the moralist thing to do. There is bitterness in her voice, tempered with understanding. She is critical, but ultimately understands the cause. Moralist? The moralists believe in keeping everything exactly the way it is. They believe in mineral rights and not shooting people in the head. At least not in the same manner and volume as the others do. They are the long-standing provisional rulers of Revachol now, the coalition government. The rulers of Revachol, and also the world. These guys are strong. This is their zone of control. They embolden the RCM with crumbs of the same law they took. Technically speaking, you are a moralist. Uh. I like answer three, but I think I'm going to go with, I don't think I am a moralist. Of course. Not easy to be moderate about head shooting in your line of work. When was this kerfuffle? The century revolution. Don't answer it. It's a trick question. The revolution began in 02 on the Isla of Grad, though by the end nearly the whole world had gotten involved. Who started it? It wasn't a who, but a what. A pandemic of Zarat, a particularly virulent prion disease which the authorities in Grad proved unable to contain. Then Mazulf came along and overthrew the government. What did this Tsarath do? It made people overthrow their governments. Wow, really? Of course not. It was a highly infectious microorganism that destroyed brain tissue. The actual causes of the revolution were material. The pandemic only provided the spark. Where did it spread from, from there? From Revachol and Grad? Not far. The world managed to cauterize itself. Mazov's government was overthrown in 08, and the coalition crushed the Revachol commune two years later. It was the end. What came next? Why, you and I, officer. Our lives in the zone of control. Something tells you her life and yours are not that similar. Maybe it's because she has a boat and you have that necktie? A pair of pants? Our lives are very different from each other. But we share the same time and position on the planet's crust. That counts for more than you think. What is the zone a of control? state divided into free market zones under the everlasting interregnum of the Coalition of Nations. And you, of course, the citizens' militia. The clatter of typewriter keys fills the main hall of the reappropriated silk mill. Precinct 41. Chat Tilbrook presses enter. Outside, Officer Elfboy Williams slams the door of an armored motor carriage. The zone of control is the third incarnation of Revachol, after the failure of the suzerain and the commune. What happened in the rest Modernity. of the world? They developed the marvels of the inter communication, telematic milieus, radiation, colored plastics. Meanwhile, in Revachol West, the aftermath continues for the fifth decade. It's been like this for how long exactly? 43 years. Hard to fathom, I know. What have we been doing the all that time? The 20s saw a decade of urban war, west of the river leveled, offshore platforms in flames. Still, it's regarded as an improvement on what came before. 08 to 19 was simply hell. And after the that? 30s? Things settled down in the 30s. Revachol East transformed itself into the world's largest tax haven, with the international community's blessing. For the first time in a long time, it seemed like things were going somewhere. Were they? No. It was a market mirage fueled by cocaine and quantitative easing. The 40s dispelled it like a cold splash, an Isla-wide hangover, you might say. And here we are. Welcome to reality, baby. From the looks of it, 
The Fifthers haven't been much better for the zone of control. You can see it in her eyes. Days slipping away. You don't seem to be I've thrilled. no right to be dissatisfied. This shirt is Barbara Muscova. This raincoat is impervious to rain and is guaranteed for a hundred years. My daughters will wear it. No, it's just... We could have had so much more. Every one of us. If only we played it right. What would you have Good done question. differently? What would you have done differently? Uh. I asked you, who are you in all and I this? asked you, past less detective of the citizens' militia. What insight has acute encephalopathy given to you? Here's some wisdom, lady. Say the death thing. <laughs> you know what? I agree with you, random voice that pops up sometimes. I think I would have killed more. 400 million, if that's what Cold it took. runs down your spine as you say the words, like a small electric charge. That seeks grounding. I see. A tenth of humanity. The key of history is in the lock. Keep turning at any cost. Uh... At any cost until humanity is free and the, the age of capital is passed. For a moment, this silence. The cold dissipates into your parietal lobe, like a dissolved bullet. All is quiet on the Martinez Inlet. Capital is past. Past? That's what de Breva, the leader of the Communards, said, before she got a bullet in her head. Don't get me wrong. Capital is finished. But understand this. Its end won't free anyone. It will only lead to more suffering. That's enough they about They are the what times. they are. Who knows? An afterbloom may yet come. Anyway, enough sentimentality. Is there anything else you want to know? I want to know what you are. Hmm. What are you? I am the vilest of the vile. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. I am an ultra. It's sharp. Uh. Dios mio, a liberal. Yes, I am the nether creature of the Forbidden Swamp. I pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. My kind surrendered the nation to financial colonists. I can see you thought we'd gone extinct. After all, no sane person identifies as an ultra-liberal anymore. Not in broad daylight. You're a man of the left, no? Tell me, now that I've uncoiled myself, are you repulsed? In her green eyes, you see a mixture of truth and self-satire. Decades of guilt and pride. Forgive her, but only because you like pearlescent teeth and those light green eyes. I forgive you. I hope you do. I hope we are able to continue as friends, despite my scales and my need to infiltrate and betray your precious revolution. Honestly, I may have even preferred it. Had the communards won. Who knows? They might really have built something better. But they didn't. Because they lost. When the dust settled, the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess. By virtue of their survival, they were handed enormous power to shape the future. This was all our last generation managed. Would you have done something differently? With due respect to our overlords, the eternal caretaker government that keeps Martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery, 
while a gentle wind sweeps the streets in the rebuilt east. Light drizzle washing it clean. Lights go up and motor carriages circulate the tracks. I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the coalition. Not here in Martinez, and not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake. Then for my daughters. We had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. Dark orange flames reflect in her green eyes. An oil fire on the ocean. Huh? You're a patriot? Yes, I suppose I am. But I wouldn't be a patriot anywhere but here. Uh, you have daughters? Yes. Whatever else I am. I'm also a mother and a wife. We're getting a lot of experience out of this conversation. To reality. What is this? A bird? A Svenisit? A flightless bird of the polar regions? I mean, what is this place here? Ah! This is the pier of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A, where the tenants have been kind enough to rent me a slot. Or two. What is Rue de saint Gislaine? A pre-revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings, Batimont. After Les Batimont Nouveau. But 33A and 33B are not Nouveau. They're old. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real high rise by the standards of the last century. Built to mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the Delta. That was before the war, of course. Who lived in them? Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate, before the cannons locked four or five stories off. Splat, splat. Wonderful. What is that? The girl in the old lady rags. Yeah. Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a team infraculture. Infraculture. Yes, you and I belong to the supraculture. We're common, the herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant, those are all too popular for the girl in the old lady rags. Mm -hmm. Hold up, why is this? There we go. She prefers a fantasy world. An infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the supraculture. Uh... Explain the same thing, but to a child. Young people who dye their hair funny colors and wear old people's clothes are stupid, and their little rebellion is self-defeating. All right, what next? That's all for now. Glad I think we'll think. save any conversations that have to do with uh... the 15 Indo tribe. Because there was. The 15th Indo tribe was comprised of eight kids from Forberg and North Jamrock, running from wild dogs in the valley, hiding scents under rocks and stealing clothes off clotheslines 
and sometimes even the copper wiring of phone lines. You may have been one of them. This must be a childhood memory. The 15th Indo tribe was your Indo tribe, set to rule in Cylinder. The rest of the kids are dead now. Car accidents and drug overdoses. Only you remain. Hmm. Wow, there are a lot of things to learn. You're back. Okay. So now we could level up Savoir Fair more. throw a point into conceptualization for the uh, other stuff. The streets will flow red once more. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. You seem pretty cool. I'm Who Cindy are you? I'm the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth blood type the last time I was tested for hep C I just want to know your name no need to get defensive and here I was trying to be polite just can't win with you pigs you keep looking off to the side what are you looking she at she turns her head to face the coast and nods disdainfully toward Joyce, performing maintenance on her boat. Hatred? Disgust? It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. The woman on the boat does not notice her steering. That is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. You mean Joyce? On a first name basis with her, are we? Piggy's moving up in the world. Yeah, I don't like her either. Pig's not half as dumb as he looks. What are you doing to the Can't wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aereo graffitio visible from low orbit. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. So you don't know what to write? Have you ever tried your hand at graffiti -o? When faced with a blank wall, most people write unimaginative stuff. Like pigs go home, and Mono is here. We rarely see pigs around here, though. Just union cads. And my name's not Mona, so... She wants it to be something true. And total. I have an opinion yeah? on this. Want to hear it? I like public art. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. You've lessened her desire to deface the building. Do you know anything about the recent I murder? I snitch, Pigstein. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. So you won't talk about the murder, but maybe you can tell me something about the victim's what do missing I care armor. About some fucking tin eggshells. Isn't armor art? Art for the body? Ugh, alright. Sad piggy. I'll give you this one. I saw a little girl in the fishing village running around with military grade handwear. Look cute as hell. If you haven't been there, the village is a shithole down the coast from the main plaza. Have a good time. Got it. Piggy, I have no idea why I just told you that. You look like a shaggy dog left in the rain for too long. I have a weakness for animals. Catch you later. Watch your back, ungulate. You've got eyes on you. Okay. So now that we've leveled up 
conceptualization one. This should be Just something. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see here. Ooh. I'm gonna leave that one because, uh... It's still only a 3% chance even with an extra thing. Take as much money this as This coin can. operated viewer is facing southwest. Its coin slot is full of fossilized bubble gum, rendering the machine permanently inaccessible. Poor little the viewer. metal feels cold and wet under your palm. It looks unhygienic. Look A inside. thick layer of graffito covers the lenses. You spell out the word Onuk written on the other side, with N and C scribbled backwards. Under the graffito, a sea of blues and greys appear. Behind the water lies a coast studded with concrete and reeds. On it, a church on stilts, lanky weather-worn wooden planks, an X-shaped cross topping its tower. The church looks old and weather-worn. There are no lights in the windows. Around the large wooden building, you see chunks of sea ice gathered on the beach, and a small tent set up on the ice. This coin-operated viewer is facing south. The instruction manual says to insert 25 centims and pull the handle while looking inside. Then use the focus knob to zoom in if necessary. Let's try Your it money out. disappears into the coin slot. A clunk, the ring of metal. Pull the the curtains on inside. the display open. You lean in to catch the view. It's blurry, different blues and greens. In the middle of the shimmer stands a drab gray shape, like a ghost. Turn the knob the and lenses focus the shift. Vision. The ghost sharpens into an islet in the bay. In the ruins, a man-made structure is visible. A half-sunken sea fort. It's concrete almost reconquered by nature. It looks as if it was abandoned quite some time ago. Nothing but a rotten tooth remains of the anti-aircraft tower. A lonely birch tree grows out of it. Its leaves ripped from it by the winter wind. Hang in there. The little one. brave birch tree seems to wave back in the wind. Hmm. Well, that was a nice use of 25 cents. I mean, we can get that money back now, basically. We can get that money back and then some. A book about pate. Who are you? <laughs> A good one? Yes. Hello. Who are you? Me? No one. I'm just a working class woman. She doesn't really want to be disturbed that much. What are you doing? Looking for something to read. I'm a policeman. I know you are. Do you need the help of a policeman? Maybe your husband, husband is missing. No, he's not. So where could he be? I don't know. At home now? Out drinking with his friends? Working? So what I'm hearing is you don't really know where your husband is. Yes, but... I don't really need to know where my husband is. Not all the time. Wouldn't no. you like to? I can totally help you Why find your missing you husband. Talking about this? I haven't lost my husband. She has though. The husband is totally lost. You should tell her that it's okay. It's okay. What? It's alright to not. Who said anything your husband about is shape? nothing shameful Stop in that. Stop talking down to me. My husband is not missing. But he is. You can feel it. Or maybe... Maybe your children no, are missing. absolutely not. Okay, so where are, are they? Are you a policeman or a nanny? 
I police whatever I want. Where are sir. they? You know where they are. They're at home. Smoking. Giving the ladder of vices a chance. What if something horrible has happened? What if they're dead? That's the bad vibe you got before. What if something awful has happened? What if they're in the sewers? That's just... My daughters are perfectly fine. They're with their friends down in Jambrok. There's nothing to worry about. They're almost grown up now anyway. They're past the age they need me protecting them from everything now. I'm afraid the danger now is greater than ever. Tell me how My old are they. My youngest girl, Jolie, is just shy of 16. Jenny, she is turning 18 next month. But we shouldn't even be talking about them. Their appearance, any features that make them Why stand out. Why do you need out? to know this? Haven't I repeatedly told you that they're not missing? That they're in Jamrock, safe and well, at some stupid party? Did someone say party? You could use a party. Hunt it down. Uh, it's for the investigation. There is no trying to be professional. Here. I can tell you that. Maybe your cockatoo is missing. I don't mean missing. to disrespect, sir, but you are being a bit of a cockatoo here. I was asking about your cockatoo. Is it cockatoo. missing? And guess what? What? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. All right. Just wanted Great. to make sure. Just one more question. What did you mean by me being Nothing. a cockatoo? Go read up on them if you're so interested. Maybe you should. What if the cockatoo is your astral captain? Or your heraldic bird? Actually, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Wonderful. Thanks for the tip. The story is open. The woman before you. Let's go find a book about cockatoos. Or actually, I might want to do the conceptualization check first before it becomes night. Or, mm, These shelves are overburdened with books from the same series. You see the name Dick Mullen over and over. Crime Look fiction the is a of disgrace. Books. An asinine misrepresentation of the physical attributes of the arduous everyday work of actual police officers. These books greatly overstate the excitement of police work, glossing over how long it takes to actually follow up on leads and eliminate dead ends. What's more, they completely ignore the psychological hardships of year after year coming into contact with people during the worst days of their lives. Not a single mention of all the stress this work creates upon the officer's family. Detective fiction just doesn't tell the truth at all. Now, would you like a list of all the books found on the shelf? Sure you see Dick Mullen on the job. Get me Mullen. The stalwart adventures of Richard P. Mullen. Dick Mullen and the murder in the orchard. The sordid affair of Dick Mullen. A killing is declared. Dick Mullen in the murder house. The final case of Dick Mullen. An obvious lie. Dick Mullen in the clock tower. The ordeals of Dick Mullen. Dauntless Dick. Dick Mullen's funeral pyre. The murder of Dick Mullen. Dick Mullen dies? Mm. Turns out he faked it to solve a case. Are there yes. any more? There's also the dame who did it. Farewell, my Mullen. Faking death seems to be a common trope in the Mullen series. The morbid tales of Dick Mullen. A dark tide turns. Tragedy calls for Dick Mullen. Another one with fake death. And, of course, Dick Mullen, the murderer. In order to catch a murderer, Dick Mullen must become the murderer. Come on, this is not the way real police solve crimes. The real police are some 20 kilometers away 
sitting in an armored motor carriage. Come on, Chester. Tell the story again. Again? Man, I tell that one at least once a month. It's not that interesting. The fuck it is. And these guys haven't heard it. You see, Chester here... Chester... faked his own death once. Gosh, why? A very fucking dangerous case, ain't that right, Chester? They almost got you that time. Yeah, sure came close. All right, so I was tailing this guy called Francis the Shoe. After all this, you still haven't found the answer to the one question that matters. Who is Dick Mullen? Oh, no. <laughs> Despair creeps into you. Oh, no. Get in fact on your weakness. I think the last time There's I saved was yeah. before we You're talked still coming to... Up with sentences. Uh... That's a step up from total annihilation, right? Nothing you can say. I think the last save I made was before talking to Joyce. Ooh, that's going to be a lot of dialogue we have to redo. Whoops. Load game. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to try to just speed through everything with Joyce. I'll try to just pick all of the same dialogue stuff I did before. Emphasis on try. Questions about reality. More lessons in basic reality. What is? What, 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 the is what do you see? Is what is Elysium. it? Uh, world in the love, a term of hatred uh, that originates. Don't feel like I've got the full picture Great yet. Things are difficult to achieve. We used to think it's oh. There's a steady. Yes. Corona. A cold fear seeps into you. The pale. Based, the I am. Mean. But this is one of the greatest questions of our time. And then I everything do. will be okay. Yeah. She does not seem convinced that you'll be it's okay. May. It's like the crowning of the world. See? Disco. Suddenly, you're conscious of yourself standing there on whatever. We're in Martinet. Martinet, you would oh, be I excused for one. not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. I would be happy to. What is the, the pale? It is the opposite. A definition. Okay. Isola. Isola. Windy. And An oceanic. Day. Achromatic. Odorless. Featureless. Is it no here? As your gaze, 6,000 yes. kilometers north. You hear your pulse rise. What are its physical the qualities? The further into pale, you... Uh, it is pale. possible, but it is still hard for you. It Ex can damage the mind. Some, they call it, it feels. I'm not a no, name listed. The Lord yes. Driver's Couch. You should ask that poor woman. Are you Up over to my gills, you? officer. Entra there are There's nothing. Entrepenetics. Hybrid in essence. Then they don't. I just want to make sure I'm not going to lose any like conversation things. The pale. How much what pale do you is think, there? detective? I think this one I will change. I'll say it's growing. Precisely. One of the few measurable effects of the pale is that it is expanding at an unknown rate. An intuitive conclusion of that development is that most it's not extreme at all. It's going to happen. Off we go. Off we go into the wild Why should we yonder. just leave and leave? Return to reality, yes, is please. This the first time please. you're hearing this? Vague shadows. Then tell me, what do you think of the pale? It can only be stopped with immediate, really total, know. ruthless com this uh, does not communism spell good for the under I control. Hope. Some of that. You have me. I will assist you in these what are. Times are these too late for what? A smile of a. All men. The revolution. It's quite easy. Every Bunch of apes. Why? No. On the other hand. Who got shot Those in the head? She's oh, did they ever? Before they got shot themselves, 
they shot two million people. Sounds like they Don't worry. Shot people in the, head, the real king abdicated. Cowardly I've king. Him and tens of thousands. We got the the liberals rights. got the liberal. Some were liberals, in liberals. to foreign intervention. The liberals. Who are the, the coalition? The moralists. The mo the this is their zone. I don't think I am. Course. What was this? The revenue. It wasn't a who. It made people. Of what did course the not. Czarist it, from Revisha. Why? Something tells you her life and yours. Her lives are no very doubt. different. A the clatter. The zone. Modernity. Forty-three years. The twenty. That time? The thirty. No. Welcome to it. From the looks of it, the fifth is. I've filled. never. We could have had so much more. What would you have done Good differently? Question. What would you have done I asked you. Here's some wisdom. The cop. I see. The wind. Capital is past. Past. Capital is finished. That's enough they are times. anyway. Hmm. I, I am. It's sharp. Dios mio. I can see. In a group. For, but only because you like pearlescent teeth and those alike. I hope you did honestly. You. When the dust settles, the lip would you have would done you? something well, differently? I would not then. Dark orange. You're a patriot. Yes. I suppose I am. But I wouldn't be a patriot anywhere but here. You have yes. daughters. Whatever else I What is this? this? Ah, or two. A pre revolutionary tenement. This one, mostly. What? Splat, splat. What is the that? girl in the old lady yes. looks like yeah she prefers a uh, young people all right all right what next all for now to have been of assistance uh, i'm gonna a little keep that i know with my decision to save the conversation with uh about everart for when kim is with us the 15th indo tribe Back monument. Okay, now that we've done all that again, I'm gonna save again. Because that was a long conversation to redo. Oh, I should also talk to. Talk to this Cindy. The streets will fly. What's your I'm name? I'm Cindy miss? the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, um, the last time I was tested for hep C. Let's start with your blood type will you and look go from at there. That? He's not just a pig, he's also a dog. Ain't got no bones for you, doggy. Look hey. to the side. That a Zonho. You mean Joyce? Yeah, I don't like her either. Not half as dumb as Can't what are you doing to the wall? You don't know what to write. She wants it to be something true and total. Why are you so this committed to the This place is severely lacking in havoc. Not even the. I thought I'd mix it up. You know. I have an opinion yeah. on this. I but like public art. You've lessened her desire to. Do you I know ain't anything? No snitch. What do I care? Armor. Ugh. If you haven't been there, and there's a little no, bit no, that's all the snitch and sin. I have a weakness for animals. It's the animal thing again. Damn it! What Catch you later, Cindy. Try to do everything the way I did it. So I will also check out this thing. Your money. Hold the, the handle. The lenses. Focus. It it's a, Hang in the there little, little brave birch. This coin. 
the yeah. metal feels cold and thick under the, the chair, around the large wooden bed. Doesn't really what are you doing? For something to read. I'm a policeman. I know you are. Do you need the help what of with? a policeman? Maybe your husband, husband is missing. I don't know. Yeah. No. I can totally Not help you. She has the. Okay. What? Who said? But he is. Maybe your children no. are missing. Are you a policeman or a nanny? They are not. You know. I what want. if something horrible has happened? What if something what? awful happened? They're almost grown up now. Pray the danger My youngest. greater. Why do you need Did someone say party? I could do with a, a party. A killer party? What is it with you and Pope Staples? My God. Please, no more talk about my daughters. They are fine. I don't mean cockatoo. that this... Cockatoo. I don't even have a cockatoo. What? Even... All Great. Right. Nothing. What did you Maybe mean? you should. Wonderful. The stories... I thought for the moment. There we go. Actually, you know what? We have those gloves now. Hold on. Let me click this. That's... That's free money now. I gotta remember those. And for this weightlifting thing, we have gloves for this now. Tell you what, uh, a white tank top will give us another bonus to physical instruments, so let's do that too. The barbell waits patiently on the floor, Ooh. like a dog for its master. Is this familiar? No, because I'm a, a memory from another life. Let's try this. When you were young. Oh, nope, we failed. Fit. Okay. You managed to hoist it off the ground. Is there are like a place I can go to restore my stats. Uh, without spending the day.
so I don't know that I will actually it's not going to be interesting uh, if I just wander around for like four in-game hours. These so I'm just going to save before I do checks, and like series. if I mess it up, I'm the not going to... Crime. F these like, what's not a single mention of all the stress you see a uh, killing is oh, no. call it. Yes, tragedy. Come on. Come on. I get the Gosh, what a very yes. After all like this, I'm not just going to redo this check over and over again. One... But it would be more interesting for me to like you know, try checks than not try. If that makes sense. We could put our skill points into endurance and I forget what the equivalent is for morale, but like we would put the one point into those and then end up like using them on other skill checks. Like it's not as good, I think, as just getting a point into another skill check. A sulfur-crested cockatoo sits on the cover, its beak slightly open. It looks as if the bird is calling out the book title. From A to Zurich, a guide to a well-behaved cockatoo. Turns out the that there are so many different cockatoo species, and they all have behavioral problems. What about the guide it's to cockatoo? If you own a cockatoo, I've heard they're quite capricious. Uh, I will just wait until I have the money. The plaque on the shelf reads: Browsing through the suddenly shelf. high shelf. speed next to next to that Rivercholian radio per. She understands she has erred against the cut. I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, okay, let's just come back another time. Let's see. Oh, we can. I mean, it is like a 3% chance, but we can, we may as well try the conceptualization check on that wall. Check this out. Just an ordinary wall. Yeah. Why? It's a wall. Can we try talking to the Kuno S again? Okay, so she has nothing new to say. Hey, we're auto saving. That's good. There's a smoker up there, but we'd have to get up there somehow. Hey, what's that noise down there? Hmm, we may need to sneak into Kuno's hideout again. See if there is another way. Or actually, we could probably just go through the gate. There. Working class drunk. You know what this means, right? Practice. Solved. All in a good day's work. Wait, what, what did I crack mean? exactly? What did I crack? Look at how working class that drunk is. It's the future leader of a proletarian no, it's uprising. Not. It's her yes. husband. 
and you found him. Now go and tell the working class woman. Protect. There's no need for champagne when there's honor, recruit. Go and tell. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Protect and God serve, damn madam. It, I already I found told your husband. You. My husband isn't missing. But you said you and didn't I know where he was. specifically added that I didn't need to know. Well, I found him nevertheless. I'm that where good. Where is he? There. Excuse me? There's something else hiding in her voice, though. Right, because working class women come with alcoholic husbands. You know what? What? You were right. I do have an alcoholic husband. Although not that one. Well, you told me your I husband's alright. And he is. He's also an alcoholic. So is he no, missing he's as not. well? Or maybe he is. I don't know. He's probably in the park or in Shambrook somewhere. I haven't seen him for... Well, to hell with him! There. She's worried now. Don't worry, I'm gonna find him she and bring sighs, him back home. But you can detect a slight... Alright, go ahead. Do you have any questions? What does your Honestly, husband look like? not that different from you. Like a late stage That's alcoholic one way to put it, Yes. No offense. I'd also add he's a little bit chubby. Wait. Did she just imply that you're fat? You're not fat. The body type she's referring to is called a Franco Nigerian hard body. I see. Not what else? else? He was wearing a dark brown leather jacket with a bright blue inner lining. The lining is hand sewn. I made it myself. It's his cool jacket. God knows it's too cold to run around in this, but he refuses to change. I even tried throwing it away once, but he just dug it out of the bin. Can you believe it? Well, if the jacket is really that well, cool, I can, can totally you understand. I hope that at least that extra lining helps him keep warm at night. I wouldn't like him to catch cold. She's thinking about him out in the cold. In some park or on the coast and it's making her more and more worried when did you last yesterday see him? morning he went to the library he went to retrieve my book and he promised he promised he'd walk straight back home because we talked about this we talked about not wandering off again i i don't know what to do i honestly don't know what to do with his addiction just makes me feel weak. She turns away from you in an attempt to recover. I think so I got you it. Are. She genuinely wants you to know. Don't make her ask. Yes, I will bring Thank him you. back home to you. Please do. Even though I'm sure he will return home by himself. The dented yellow mill. Find working class husband. Can't get across the bridge. But as of yesterday when we got here, the bridge was already not working. The shot Stylish shades, huh? They'd be even more stylish if you Hmm.
Oh, we should ask the pail driver about uh, the pail. The woman. Snap huh? fingers. What is it? What do you want? Or I came you see me away. You were in a dream. Yes. What about it? Should you go? Oh, don't worry about it. You get me. like that. I'm one of the best communers around. I drive roots, no one else will. What? The Munoz of Sland, Uzajnaya, Zemlia, the Western Plain. A terrible cold comes over her. The Transcatholia Magistral. You for one, Eddie. At the Stradas, do mirrors. All the good ones. The deep trenches. Where the bluebirds fly. I'm something of an You're expert right, on Logan. in blacking out. You should I'm take better care of yourself. I'm the one who should take myself more seriously. Thank you for looking out for me. Is that all you woke me up to say? I think I know what's and going on with what you. what is that? You're a pale driver. You transport goods all through no the pale. The lawman solved the case. And here I was, thinking you were an idiot. So, are you? An idiot, I mean. I blacked out from sheer heartbreak and lost all memory. Like Gabriel Buenguerro in Segureme Paraiso. You're the opposite of me, then. I remember everything, even the things I never knew. Things you never the knew. The smell of liquor on Gabriel's lips after the shoot in the motor park. The roses on the day of Franco Negro's coronation on the grand stairs of Ryle. The smoke from the fouling pits when Dolores Day was shot. The look on her face like an orgasm. The wound in her chest. My hand in my father's hand. Except I never had a father, and I never shot her innocent of Dolores Day. Over radiation? Heroic doses, her yeah. Heroic. Isn't that dangerous? Thought insertion? Dithering? The Grad Catala Magistral? It's more than dangerous. It's sad. But at first I had to make a living. Now, when you've seen it all go away like that, rolling off like the sea, and then come back to this. What are we doing here? For thousands of years, Gabriel. We doesn't have to be like this. We can just give up. We can just become a vapor. What does it look like? like? Looking into the ocean at night. In the dark. And? You cannot see it, but you know it's there. And it's big, bigger than anything. Bigger than all the other things combined. What does it feel Nothing. like? Nothing. Until it starts. When you are deep enough. Then, for me, it's like autumn. Dark, gray, and orange. The orange of street lights and the color of streets and electric light. It smells like autumn, too. It smells terrible. Nostalgia. Cooped up in the cabin. Shaking. Terrible nostalgia. For yourself. For humans. It's too much to bear. She loves it. How do you pass through In it? the belly of an airship, behind the cell windows. So you don't look straight into it. It's not advised to look into it. Not on this lord? No, the same one, a roller. They all are nowadays. Special wheels for connecting to the floor of the hole. One last thing. You said we can just yes. become vapor? I would rather have what you have. They say what there's I have. a point, one that I have not crossed. In the pearl, super deep. If you stray too far, of course, on the U for one A, or in Lomonosov's land, where every step you take is one step further from home, no matter the direction. It's a point you cannot come back from. Your mind becomes so radiant with the past, there is a flip. Instead of writing, it erases memory, nearing some kind of indescribable finale. Maybe you've been down the motorway south. The motorway it's south? It's a story as Lone Horseman tell. Lone Horseman, 
tariffer, not Pearl drivers, way beyond the established Pearl that's lit by radio frequencies, where it goes silent and dark, and the process begins, erasure, kilometer by kilometer, in any direction. The motorway south is a road you cannot come back from. What is at the end of the motorway south? No one knows south. what's at the end. I've only glimpsed the beginning. I've only felt it in the distance when I was a child. A child growing on the leg. Madness. There is nothing more to do now. So we got a new thought. Motorway South. So I think I want this motorway south. Which puts my visual calculus at negative one. We're not very good at visual calculus. Went native on the cheap, huh? Those ball- Wrong. You did the right thing with Measure Him. The ballerina antics won you the fight. Let's talk about our right to work. What is a strike? When a bunch of ungrateful, lazy cockroaches can't get their act together, decide to block honest work for other people. What do the strikers want? They mumble nonsense about boardrooms and workers' rights. While we have the right to work! When the man moves around, you perceive some serious... There's something odd in the way he carries himself. His set of clothing looks vaguely mismatched. The different pieces of the attire seem ill-fitting. His Ill shirt is far too small mean? and an unpleasantly tight fit, while the overalls held up by a belt seem to fit a man with much more corpulence. You wearing new he clothes? ignores your question, choosing instead to turn to the emaciated workers, raising both fists in the air. The clothes are obviously not his. You've been talking to him for quite a while now. Something is off with this guy. Ask him where he's from. Okay, I gotta ask. Where exactly What's are it you, to you from? I feel like if we say he looks real familiar, that will like do something. So let's say no, that. No, don't think we've met before. I came to help out the people. Already got that. I'm interested We're in your workers, background. Right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain, Jamrock. Backgrounds in odd jobs, heavy lifting, cargo hauling, bouncer work. I know the drill. A bouncer? Where? I frequent, Worked at uh, frequent a lot of corners. Maybe it's one of the Not right now, but I might have been there. I don't really remember things well. What's it to you? Routine part Am of I the a investigation? Suspect? Done no crimes. I only fight for the rights of we're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Came from the eminent domain. Worked at territory. Not right uh huh. Now. It was a long time. I feel like maybe that would be worth investigating with Kim because maybe Kim can then tell me, like. Uh... So, how'd you like a harbor? Labor utopia. It's uh, but a rest area day. on the path leading across open plains. Right, you talk to the boss, eye to eye, like men of the plane. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Any idea who killed the, the mercenary, eh? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? 
The harbor is a prime area of suspicion, in your opinion, are the dock workers involved in the killing? What a thought! Why would noble workers resort to such a thing? Unless they were pushed, of course. Pushed how? Your dead guy was an enemy combatant. What does that mean? He was an agent of the opposition, attempting to undermine our honorable efforts. Did you kill I him? I ain't the murdering type, but that's just me. Large organizations like our union have all sorts of men with all sorts of skills. He means a more violent faction could easily take care of such a thing. Thank you. This has no been problem. Limited use. I wish the best to you in your search. Sure, I'm glad it's not my search. Good talking to you, Gato. I think rather than go back into the dock. Now I think we have enough skill points to go around that we can level up conceptualization. Oh, I should also uh, switch my shirt back to the nicer shirt. You should tell people to fuck off more often. But that's the spirit. Never forget. Leveled up conceptualization Still here. more. Stuck in this damn jam, my man. What's up? Who was this one that messed with our morale? It might be. I might actually hold off on that one. Oh, this should have opened back up though. Stylish shades, huh? They'd be even more stylish. No luck. Oh, that visor is fun. Okay, what? Whoops. Pause. So we reopened up the backyard wall. The box of sunglasses, which we just retried, and Tommy Lee. The concern with Tommy Lee was that uh, it may mess with my morale. I think I'll go try the wall again because I know that one doesn't mess with anything. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing to see. Yeah. Why? It's a wall. An ordinary wall. I think I will save. And then... Try the thing with Tommy again. Oops, Tommy is back up to this way. There he is. Still here, stuck in this. No, just no. 
I can already see it's failed, and I'm stopping it now. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush. What kind of Hard vehicle to say. drove through here while Cop you did this? You Footprints. There are eight. You will. Kuna dies. You're gonna pick one out of his brain like that too. Kuna's gonna go out in a hail of bullets. Gonna look like a fucking porcupine. Porter Rosa, a side alley of the Boogie Street Spearhead. A young man in his early twenties approaches Patrol Officer Emil Mullins and asks for a cigarette. As Officer Mullins reaches in his coat pocket for the pack of Astra, he just... The man shoots him point-blank in his chest. Breathless, the patrol officer collapses in the gutter. His right hand is grabbing the armor on his chest. The bullet didn't pierce it, but he can't breathe. On the pavement, the patter of the perpetrator's feet growing distant. Bleed, pig. Someone opens a window and says, but Emil cannot see who. His sight grows dim with pain. Uh, I'll be there yeah. for you, Kuno. Figure out what's going on with this kid. He's on your crime scene, bossing you around. And he's been here for some time, too. This is where he hangs out. You have to get more out of him. He could be useful. Trying to fuck at the Kuno. Trying to fuck at me. Trying to fuck. Kuno only gets higher. It's faster, faster, faster. Can't take the Kuno. Stay out of the reactor. Kuno. Normal is not what we got here. Yeah, let's see. You've got to work with what you have. The Talk fuck about do you shack. want with it? Good call, Pigmeister. Don't question about the crime scene. The kingdom of Kuno. The fuck do you want with it? The latter no, yours? it's not fucking Kuno's. It's ancient. Look at it. He thinks you're fucking full, Kuno. Get the fuck out of here, pig. Kuno doesn't have a magic tree house. What's in no, the greenhouse no. over Kip there? Kip Gardener used to work there. The gardener used yeah, to work there? Yeah, that's what Kuno said. She couldn't handle the heat, so she took off. Kuno can take it. Shit, nothing to Kuno. What did you mean Look by it up in the library. Kuno's not a fucking dictionary. Fucking small brain. Kuno means the gardener, all right? The gardener. She's actually not a gardener. It turns the out she's a union The fuck does this have to do fixer. with the Kuno? Kuno doesn't give a shit who she is. Oof. Despair. Kuno it's just destroyed us. It's in fact, on your weakness, there's something. Yeah, you're still coming up with sentences. Nothing you can say would I kind of can't wait until we hit oh. night time. Okay, load game. Good news is I saved right there. Did I do this before or after I retried this? Just an check. Old. Okay, I did it after. Honestly, I might just go straight back to Kuno.
still I here. I guess I'll retry Stuck this. No, just no. I can already see. Okay, let's try talking to Kuno again. Porter, the man, bleed pig. Yeah. It's not Kuno. Hey, there we go. It's Kuno S. Interesting. Kuno wow. S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the other hides behind the fence, afraid for her life, like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno S was the one who wound him up and directed him. Also, Kuno hasn't stopped talking to you, even enjoys it from time to time. When you talk to the other one, it's like talking to a cornered animal. She only hisses and says murder was the case that they gave her. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with him alone. Kuno how? is by far the worst of the two. Kuno, oh, she, this is the all same in all, thing. Kuno. Fuck you, whispering about. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you, whispering about. If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Ah. She's trying is to control okay? you. The pig's trying to pit us against each other. No. Idiot. That's it. You let him off the line. That was a bad, manipulative thing to say. You should understand. I got you this far. Try to fuck my Kuno! <laughs> Try to fuck my Kuno away! Okay. Kuno yep, tight. that was a bad Kuno call on my life. part. <laughs> a chill comes over you, the wind from the boulevard south, lashing you for trying to separate them for trying to take the street out of Kuno. Let's try again. You were too pushy last time. Think this through. Try to really understand. Just Let's look. Kuno While has. Kuno has no problem being near you, she always... She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before... Also, all in all, Kuno respects Matt. Fuck you whispering about. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Fuck you! Whisper! If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. Okay. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. What's up with her? She's terrifying. Crazy. crazy you don't scary. know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. Stop talking to him. Kuno, I'm fucking warning you. You're gonna get us into shit. She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see? Did Kuno not tell you? Kuno told you. Kuno talks to whoever he wants. Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her, so she can't read his lips. What do you mean she Kuno smoked means someone? She killed someone. That's right. She's a killer. Like, actually a killer. Really? Isn't she too small to Are overpower someone? This? You think I'm fucking telling you a joke here? How hard do you think it is to kill a fat ass? Sweet talk him, then knife him. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. Okay, 
Hey, how many cops did she kill then? Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. You think she has anything to do yeah. with the dead man? She would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Where Look, were you? Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. He said she's yeah, insane. She's psycho. None of that kitty psycho. Catburn and shit. She does the real deal. Whoa. Yeah. What's the real it's deal? Not radio shit. Believe me, pig. You don't want to know. What's that language she Fuck uses? Knows. She says it's the song of air people or some shit. Crazy what people? people. The fucking knackies. I don't know. Some things are too awful to dwell on. The Nakis and Runkaris might be some kind of defense mechanism. Is Fuck she no, your she's sister? Not my sister? She's just a stray who got in like a mad dog or some shit. Stray? Yeah, she was just there. What was that, Fino? She was in the hallway, dripping wet by the fucking shoe rack in the dark. Why was she Kuno's dripping wet? Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days in the corner. Every time Kuno went out. You said she got in. I don't How? Know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home and she's sleeping under the desk under a pile of clothes like a dog. What Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno? Kuno S? Two of a kind. Why is she called she Kuno S then? Like Kuno? You don't know no her name. No one knows her name. Kuno told you this shit was psycho killer. How are you dealing How's with Kuno this? dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. <laughs> you need backup. Listen, I'm here for you. Listen, C is Kuno's go to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C. You fuck with Kuno. You threaten her. You threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. He needs you to take him seriously now. I am going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. You understand? He may not be able to do it, but he will try. Right now, he believes he will. Uh, let's see. Understood, right. Kuno. Now we can do business. Business? Yeah, what do you want? Kuno can hook you up with. Oh, don't hook him up with shit, Kuno. See, relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Remember when you tried to get Kuno to hook you up? We can get on that now. If you run a little errand for the Kuno, me and you, Kuno's gonna hook you up with illegal narcotics. That's right. Kuno's a candy store for pigs now. Get ready to be rewarded. What was that about running you on an errand at narcotics? Kuno gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. That's where Kuno gets his lightning on. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo man at it. Okay, dirty okay. popo man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Who is your Kuno's dad? Kuno's dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Revachol. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks too. Are you sure you can take on the most violent man in Revachol? In your condition? How much material like are we half? talking about? Half a of baggie, what? But like in this vial. That's not very what much material at all. What are you talking about? Half a G? This shit is giant grade A shit. So clean you can barely see it. You can barely see it. Because there's barely any. 
I've made up my okay. mind. Kuno's listening. I'm going in there all guns all right, blazing Chief. to get that you speed. You can plug him, but you can't stop him. It'll only buy you time. Kuno's violent dad's got Kuno's key. So you need to fuck your way in there. Go to the pier side. Bang on the door till the cleaning gimp lets you in. That's how Kuno does it. Then you go to room 12 and kick down the door. Police violence style. That's what Kuno does. And then it's action time. You're locked in the room with violent fuckheads. That's it. Next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. Kuno do I'm off. And if we talk to the Kuno S, does that change anything? I'll die before I squeal, pig. What are those strange words you I use? I come from the woods, Kutsabitsu. You don't want to go there with me. You don't want to see what I... Okay. That was an eventful conversation. Let's go. This is the police. The police? Everyone knows the police don't come round here. No. Yes, it's cold inside. I'll go check the backyard door. Maybe someone there will. The door rattles again. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more. St Doesn't matter who, who I am. Speaking to? <laughs> the police? Everyone knows. But I'm not no. joking. I already go check the backyard door. Okay. We have the backyard door. Let's go try the backyard door. So we need to find a way. We either get the cleaning lady to let us in or to get the key from elsewhere. Ooh, what's here? Money. Money is here. Let's see what's going on in here. It's you again. What is it? Again. <laughs> Good one, uh, Titus. No more questions. About fucking time. I'm going to take off now. I don't want to give away any information related to the case. 
without uh, Kim around. The man ponders his cooking utensils and gives you a little nod. He smiles and bangs his ladle again. He looks up at you, then shrugging is an international sign for no. Hmm. Don't we have a thing for like a quest? Track down your gun, track down your badge, the victim's tattoos. Find booze. Explore the secret passages. Who put the clothes in the trash? Who made the call? Sing karaoke. These are some long loading screens. There we go. The door is closed. Okay, so I don't think we're going to get a different response just based on that. Going on in the mirror. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face. Hmm. Unfortunately, this is going to be another loading screen. That was actually the last sip of my water, but thank you for reminding me to hydrate. I should probably go refill that at some point. I think the way I'll do this is I will get into this loading screen and then while this loads, I will go refill it and I will run an ad while I refill it.
And we're back. And now I have a full water again. So. Can I help you? I need a drink. Do I have a shaker in my- He sounds irritated. You sound irritated why all I want Am is a I drink. Am I wearing a little bow tie? Am I wearing a- Am I smiling? Do you see me smiling and shaking my little shaker? No. Do you know why? Because you're not a bartender. That's right! I'm the cafeteria manager! What you want is a goddamn drink. How is that so hard to understand? Uh... You don't understand the seriousness of the situation. Even more reason for me not to serve you, sir. Was there anything else you needed? Uh okay, that's not gonna work. I'd like to hear about more of cryptids. Course, dear. Is there a particular cryptid that you're interested in learning about? The tiniest. Cryobacter cat. Yes, a unicellular bacterium that was lenses. discovered in one of the northernmost points of Kotla on the Boreal Plateau by renowned geologist Caitlin Mijanu some 70 years ago. What's so special about it? Bacterial colony Mijanu found had remained alive while frozen in ice for longer than anyone could reliably estimate. Certainly from before recorded history, Mijanu disappeared shortly after injecting herself with the bacteria she had brought back to study. No doubt in hopes of prolonging her own life. Uh -huh. Wait, she injected herself Yes, with it? the bacteria had survived in the ice since times immemorial. It is not hard to see where she could have gotten the idea. You mean there's an immortal geologist yes, wandering the world? Yes, and she's quite mad, too. After she treated herself with the bacteria, she stopped aging, but also became increasingly eccentric and irascible so that even her oldest friends were forced to pull away. We can assume that she has been living somewhere in the wilderness for decades now, all alone except for the cryobacter catlensis coursing through her bloodstream. What's the most dangerous the cryptid? of Jeroma. The gnome of Jeroma? That doesn't sound too oh, bad. it is. None of his victims survived. Thank you! Even relatives never even found their bodies because the gnome's venom dissolved organic tissue. What did this cryptid look like? It was reportedly a small creature with webbed fingers and a protruding forehead and a gangly little thing. Quite scary to look at. A couple of campers found it when it was already dying. They heard an odd wailing in the woods and followed the sound. They were scared and wrapped it in tarpaulin to suffocate it. It still took the gnome of Jeroma. An entire day to die. Are there any photos of it? Alas, no. And the first scientist who got his hands on the creature's corpse put it in a jar of formaldehyde, thinking that would detoxify the gnome's venom. Instead, all the venom leaked out of the creature's teeth and into the surrounding liquid, dissolving the creature itself. A poetic end, perhaps, but a real loss for science. Are there any invisible what an cryptids? Interesting question. And the answer is yes, there are. What's that? The call de mama d'aqua, or thin whisper of sound. And that's precisely what it seems to be self replicating sound waves, invisible and intangible. It's very afraid of us, which makes it incredibly difficult to track. What does it sound like? Like nothing. It's such a high-pitched sound that us humans can't hear it, nor can other animals. It could be ringing right outside your window, and you wouldn't even know it. 
could be anywhere, everywhere even. But how can an animal Many be a sound? Many scientists have asked the same question. Some have claimed that it isn't itself a sound, but a tiny corpuscle that emits sound waves. But there's no evidence to support this theory. Could it be here right now? It could be. As I said, it could be everywhere. And we wouldn't know any better. It could be ringing all the days of our lives and not. Maybe it's predatory. What if it's predatory? It's not. Don't worry. If it were predatory, we would have found it by the damage it inflicts. I wouldn't be so sure. What if the damage is also invisible? What evidence is there of this animal Plenty. being a sound? It's the evidence that led to its discovery. In the 20s, a group of aerial pagi ornithologists, that is, scientists who study birds, we're trying out a new recording technology for capturing sounds outside the range of human hearing. When playing back recordings they had made in the foothills of the Ea mountain range, they noticed certain anomalies, patterns that seemed random at first, but on closer examination were consistent with the waveforms of songbirds. Mm-hmm. Songbirds. The scientists soon discovered they could track and even predict what appeared to be feeding, mating, and migration patterns based on sound waves in a strictly delimited range of ultrasonic frequencies, even higher than those of the highest pitched bat calls. She transforms, when speaking about these strange animals, into a confident woman. They realized that they had discovered a new species and called it the Col de Mama Daqua, after the Paracanassian name for the voice of God, which is said to be very silent. Wow. Mm -hmm. They grew quite obsessed with these little birds. Even though they couldn't see them, they could distinguish among individual birds and even began to name some of them. Name them. Sequester, Time, Joss Can. Those are but some of the Mamadakwa they followed individually. Why is the Mamadakwa so afraid of us? That is a sad story. A group of university students assisting with the field work in their enthusiasm for the project, and no doubt because they were preoccupied with impressing their professors, nearly drove it to extinction. Extinction? They tried to communicate with it and had no other means but sound. So they started sending out sound waves at frequencies they thought might match the Mamadakwas. And what happens when a sound wave meets another sound wave of the same frequency, dear? This lady really should be a teacher. She's really good at the explaining things thing. They cancel each other out. Exactly. And these tests were performed so recklessly that when they happened upon the right frequency, well, they wiped out most of the population. Great regret washes over her, a wending cloth. After that, the corpuscle appears to have migrated elsewhere. There have been recordings of anomalies similar to those spotted in Ea, but they've been few and far between. It's impossible to confirm the presence of any stable Kaltamama Dakwa population anywhere. Interesting. What about what? Man, I just can't get enough of these cryptids. I'm glad you like them. But I'm not really one to tell you about all of them. You should ask my husband. Yay, we got to talk to her about all of the cryptids. Wait, why is the backyard wall lit up again? I mean, let's go check it out. Unless you I've have something. I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time?
was that? Could it be the Koldamama Dakwa? No, it's probably just your imagination ringing in your ear. There seems to be is it? Is there an extremely high-pitched ring. Ultrasonic. Lena said it was very high-pitched, right? It's like something tickles your ear. There it Listen is again. Closely first. You are about to rediscover a long-lost species. It must be very close. Maybe. What are you doing? You're a police officer, not a pansy ornithologist. The only birds you should be looking for are healthy women of childbearing age. Oh no. The sound. It's moving away. Somewhere over there. Go after it. No. Too late. It's gone. There no, keep come your back, ears please. peeled, then. If the species really has migrated to Martinez, you're sure to hear it again. Ooh, so we could use one of our skill points to learn about the cold the Mama Dakwa. We still failed the check, but, you know. Ooh, I wonder if we can get into Kuno's house now that it's later. A sturdy pop the door rattles again. Stop banging on the door. I'm not letting any more st out of my mouth. <laughs> the police. No. Go check the backyard. Okay, maybe we need to talk to Kuno and let him know that we aren't being let in. Come to ask questions, I still have a You belittled to yourself before the Kuno. Now you must seek his forgiveness. I want to make this right. Um, fucking what pig? Amends, Kuno. Yeah, how are we gonna make it up to Kuno pig shit? Oh, not this dreamer shit again. Why do Kuno's bitches always try and bring Kuno that lame sha -la, la la bang shit? Kuno's not a fucking witch, Doctor. It was only once, and you fucking asked me to nick it, Kuno. No, I didn't. It's fucking Kuno. Say it right, bitch. Say it like it's said. A pretty lame Oranese name. Nowhere near Kuno. The thought crosses your mind. Anyway, Kuno doesn't do that radioactive shit. Makes Kuno's dick fall off. Kuno's got a huge dick. Let's rip some tar. Okay, Porksum. Tar keeps Kuno sharp. Helps Kuno think. Kuno likes that brain boost shit. We're cool now, but don't be pulling this shit on Kuno, or Kuno's gonna have to beat the shit out of you. Again. The fuck do you... Uh, Good call. okay. So we've made our truce with Kuno, at least. The 
The smell of rotten food rises to greet you. You see soggy cartons, dirty rags, and organic waste. The container sounds a muffled gong. Okay, there's nothing else in the trash. The smell of Oops. rotten food rises to greet you. No, you see stop. soggy cartons, I didn't mean dirty it. rags, and organic waste. Close the, the container lid. sounds a muffled gong. So let's Let's see if we see anything in Kuno's shack. Still nothing that way. Okay, uh, so let's check out up here some more. Or I guess there's nothing to see up here since we did... Uh, anything related to that. I'm trying to think of just stuff to do that like progresses something but not the main investigation. I don't want to mess with too much with Kim not around. eye coordination check for the bullet we could probably ask somebody about something related to that I think we do know Kuno S, or I know Kuno S has the gun because, uh, whatchamacallit, who else talks like that? So, and Roy told us, like, the person kept going on about pigs. So she has our gun. We just need to figure out how to get it. The only other thing I can think of to do is I don't want to go talk to uh, a 
I don't want to talk to Everard. steady as ever and the unlocked drawer slides out to greet you you're trying hard but the data here is unbelievably hundreds and the same material you already went through the drawers okay i'm gonna need to bump up my volition an imposing combination of a punch clock and a payphone is looking down at you from the wall a note on the side says tokens unavailable due to strike use change Hmm. The machine swallows your coin and seems to be waiting for your next move. Whoops. Okay. Despair creeps into you. So now I know that's a Getting thing. Fat on your weakness. There's some yeah. You're still coming up with sentences. That's a step up from total annihilation, right? Nothing you can Okay. So there was an auto save not too long ago from what I remember. Cop gives up the detective genre for social realism. Yeah, we have an auto save from I honestly don't even know that I did anything of note after this auto save. something I must have done. So this was just after getting the split a kilo with Kuno quest. You belittled yourself. Commends. Yes. How are we going to make Give Okay, cigarettes. We're cool now. But don't be pulling this shit off. Kuno does Okay, so that's one thing. Let's check out the call box. An old call box with a matrix of push buttons. All you hear is static, but no one answers the call. You okay. ring the door. Just seeing the words. Andro Orlando gets your hackles up. Its very existence is a threat. Looks Average like someone tea. has melted half the plastic off with a lighter. The doorbell doesn't work anymore. Main hall building B. Nothing right? happens after you ring the doorbell. They don't want to talk to you. East Delta pinball. Silence. No one answers your call. Empty card. This button looks new, but someone has removed the name card. An off-key melody. Stop. Kudo, please stop calling here. Grown-ups don't have time for your stupid games. This is the police. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I thought you were... But the doorbell is broken, and the bookstore shouldn't even be on the list anymore. A single beep indicates that the line has gone dead. You ring the doorbell, but... You wait for a fashion. minute or two. You hear Switching. static from the intercom speaker. It sounds as if someone has picked up the receiver, but isn't saying anything. Anyone there? Yes, 
Hello, this is Tricentennial Electric. Have you come to place an order? Hold on, Tricentennial Electrics? I thought I was calling Slipstream SC. Oh my god. Sorry. It's you. Oh my god. I didn't think I would hear your voice. It's a woman. And she knows you. Your heart beats faster. No. Something's wrong here. Are you sure she's talking to you? Who are you? Where are you? Michelle, just please. Sounds like a ghost. Wind blows through your clothes and you feel detached from your surroundings. Inside the building. Why did you even call? I don't understand. You've been gone for months. I thought you didn't care. Hold on, tell me what's going on. What did Ever I do? Since I came to A spot of static overrides her words. When she... It's so nice. It's so nice to be able to finally forget. forget she about sounds what? like she's about to cry. The cold is deep under your skin. As if you were talking to someone who's a hundred years away. Somewhere inside the building, water is flooding the cellar floor. Hello? She doesn't answer. Hello, are Silence. you still there? The only thing you can hear now is static and waves washing ashore on the bay. What just Another happened? Another seagull passes by. It's getting cold standing here. You okay. press the number sign on the keypad that terminates the call. Twelve name cards on the call box read. Okay. I am low on morale. We have died a lot of times tonight. I am going to let that one pass for now. Silence. No one's home. Another shawl ice? Silence. Okay. No one answers. So the only the one that has anything is Slipstream. Which is a tough volition check. So now that the light is lower, we should be able to do that wall again. Even though we're probably going to find nothing. Just an ordinary war. Yeah, why? It's a war. An ordinary war. Well, let me see what else I can do. I can talk to this little girl again, I guess. The lights are so pretty when it gets dark. What is this crime? Crime business? fiction is about murders or burglaries or things like that. And the work of a policeman or a private detective who's trying to solve a crime and catch the criminals. Crime murder gets mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. going. And it's kind of like a puzzle too. You can guess who the criminal is or how the good guys are going to catch him. I'm a policeman you myself. You don't look much like a policeman. Didn't mean to offend, what does a sir. Cop look like that? Sorry, sir. It's just that you don't look like Dick Mullen. Uh, it's not your body that's important, no, it's your head. It's your soul. No, your resilience. So, um, I'm not sure I understand. Policeman's got to have the right stuff. If you say so, sir. He's just a fictional character. He's n Maybe you can show me some real police work, sir. Like in the books. I'm going to deduce something. The girl keeps her yeah. hands folded, hidden. Why is that? Why do you keep your hands folded? What do you mean, sir? She knows where this is going. You don't need to be worried I'm She looks help. around anxiously. Her hands remain folded in front of her. She doesn't want to show them. 
Okay. She brings out her reddened hands. Her nails frayed, nearly chewed down to the flesh. You bite Can your nails. Can you do this for me keeping my hands folded? Yes. Well, that proves nothing. Anyone could do an easy deduction like that. She actually is impressed. This is more like a defensive reflex. Want more? Then I can figure out why you bite your she nails. She nods, half provocative, half enthusiastic. Uh, let's see. You're uptight because of your mother and the pressure she's putting Maybe on you. Maybe so, sir. Okay, I know it's a bad habit, and I shouldn't. I hope this entertains you. It was okay, you. sir. There's more that can be achieved here. Ask her to do the same. You think so? Fine. Do better to do something You're about me. You're quite sober. Wait, how do you know I'm usually not? Because you not? usually aren't. I am also sad in my I'm head I'm sorry, hurts. sir. I hope things get better soon. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted by the early spring breeze. She smiles at you. The whole situation suddenly feels familiar, somehow. What am I missing here? You have absolutely no idea. Familiar? How? You must have forgotten something you heard. It's what is wrong? Or there could be a story about a poor lady getting a rich man. It's about man and lady business, sir. What about a poor man getting it rich happens, lady? But usually the guy gets rich in the process. Or should actually be rich himself, but has lost his family property unjustly. Like during the revolution or something. I Those see. are unhappy books for most of the pages. People sad about what they have lost, but then it all turns out just fine in the end. What about when both of them These are, are not very common. You can't have a choice between bad and bad. Nobody wants to read a story like that. What if it's written really well? well? Maybe then it's fine. Maybe if the lady then decides not to pick either because she doesn't need a bad man. Yes, that would be interesting. What about when everyone That's is poor? That's really not a proper romance story. That's more like everyday life. Sometimes you have to write about not real life Not in romance things. books, sir. These are about nice and pretty people and everyone is happy in the end. What about a book where the man and lady business doesn't work those. out at all? Maybe you should ask mum. Yeah, you think she has one about an excruciatingly painful breakup? Just break up, though. I'm gonna go with this real long first answer. Um, no. You can take this. Blossom like a pain flower. The girl is at a loss for words. Hmm. She shifts and sways on her feet. Yeah, I deserved that one. <laughs> Despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weakness. There's so yeah, you're still coming up with sentences. Nothing. Okay, let's try this one more time. basically right before we did that, so I think it's fine.
So I'll check the wall again because we can do that. Just an ordinary wall. Nothing. Yeah. Why? It's a wall. <coughs> look much like a policeman didn't mean to offend sir sorry sir hey. no. so um, if you say so sir maybe you can show me some real police work sir like in the books the she knows where this is going yeah, she looks worried it's okay you and bite you your nails me keeping my hands folded Uh, let's go with there were a few other well, things. That she actually is impressed. This is more like a defensive reflex. She nods. Yeah, type because of your mother. Maybe so, sir. It was okay. There's more that can be achieved here. You're quite Just sober. do something about me, have you not? Because you usually not. aren't. And I'm having a I great sure time. There she stands, swaying on her feet. You have absolutely no idea. Oof, that was a Familiar? bad check. Okay, All romance. That could be a it happened. Those are unhappy, but these are well. It's written maybe really well. they're that's not in romance books, sir. I haven't read many of those. Maybe you should ask Mum. Maybe I mm -hmm. will. I'm sure she can help out. Anything else you're curious about? Enough maybe some about other me. books. Oh, kings and queens people? and I think that's why people read oh, them. Oh, this is one we actually haven't done yet. So I should have let her talk. Can I become famous I by reading one that. of these books? I imagine life is great when you're famous. They're all dogs. Uh. Maybe Why someone would they will do that, about me one day. Because I'll be a That's superstar so cool. cop. Maybe they'll make you a book cover picture and everything. Standing over a dead body, holding a gun. Oh, that's Auntie Billy. She's nicer for a bit distressed. She's your <laughs> No, aunt? no, sir. She's a working woman who comes to look at the books a lot. Why I is she think distressed? she's a bad husband. Not very nice or helpful. Hmm. I bet this is just going to tell me about that check I found. Yep. So there are lots of checks that mess with my morale left. I actually don't have that many physical things to do. Looking for something odd? Dark sharpens your nocturnal instincts. Okay. 
despair creeps into you, getting fat on your weak. This, yeah, you're still coming up with sin. Okay. Let's load another save. Cop gives up the Okay. Here we go. Auto save from like ten minutes ago. Should be nothing I have to do except talk to the girl. Oh no, this might be the exact same save, actually. I guess... Let's try this out. Just an ordinary war. Yeah. I mean, what? one of these days, maybe that'll just work. like a policeman. Didn't mean to offend, sir. Sorry, sir. Head. No. So if he's maybe you can show me some real police work. Ooh, okay. So that one messes up my morale. Good to know. Look, we're gonna do this until I get somewhere. <laughs> Okay, let's try this once more. Just an ordinary war. Yeah, why? It's a war. And so we're gonna leave the wall. I guess technically I could go try to buy like medicines, but crime fiction is about mur gets people going. You don't look much. Like, didn't mean to offend you. Like no. So if <laughs> maybe you can show me some real. Let's try it. Nope. Load this one. Yep. At this rate, I'm going to pass the check on the wall before I'm going to actually pass the check with her. <laughs> I think I'll give it one more try with her and then if it, if it, if I lose the morale check again, uh, I will just move on and know that it's there for the next day.
But if we get the check on the wall done, I'm definitely saving as soon as we do that. Just an order. Yeah. Why? Yep, still just a wall. All right, little lady. Crime business. Crime fiction is gets people going. You don't look much. What does the cop look like? Didn't mean to offend, sir. Hey. He's sold. Uh, if he's, maybe you can show me some real police. Or that could be a story about a, it happened. Those are unhappy books. These are well, maybe that's not in romance books, sir. I haven't read. Maybe mm -hmm. will. I'm sure she can help out. In maybe some about other books. Oh, I think people? that's why people read them to find the secret. I don't become know. famous. Why would they do that? That's so cool. Cop. Maybe they'll make you a book cover picture and everything. Standing over a dead body. Oh, that's Auntie Billy. She's your aunt. Not, Why is she I think distressed? she is a bad husband. Not very nice or helpful. You can stop no, calling me sir. sir I'm but a I working can't. man. It would be too tiring to refrain from it. It's already tiring enough to remember to say it all the time. It's nice of you to say I could stop though. Okay, yeah, when the next person yes, comes, you sir. got to sir or madam again. There the we go. What do you mean, sir? She knows where this is going. You don't she looks worry. around here to anxiously. Help. Her hands, she okay. brings... You bite your nails. I knew this would make you who my hands folded. Yep. Well... She actually is impressed. Then she knows out why. Half. Maybe so, sir. It was okay. There's more that can be achieved. You're quite you do sober. something about me. Because you usually are. Usually not. And I'm having I'm a sure great I'm... time. There she stands, swaying on her feet, assaulted. And this one was free. You have so absolutely well no it. idea. Ooh. Familiar? The definite failure. <laughs> okay. We did all those checks again. Remy messes with morale, so probably not going to do his. Can I find some kind of physical check? Like, I've got... I have health to spare. I don't have morale to spare. Oh wait, do I not have the thing? I don't have the thing. Let's go correct that right now while we still can. Hopefully we still can.
okay. Oh, it got, it got dark. Is the lady still there? Am I going to reload the save? Not for any other reason, but uh, to talk about cryptids. Where is she? Okay, she is still here. That's good. More about of course, cryptids. dear. Is there a cryo? Uh, I'm gonna yes. click through mission. everything yes. super yes. quick. Yes, we can assume that she has the no. Oh, it was a couple. It still laugh instead. All the venom leak. What an invisible. The cold to Mama Daqua. Or what like nothing, like? many scientists. Could it be here? Maybe. It's not. I wouldn't be so sure. Whatever. When, when playing back, she They realize. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sequester time. That Afraid they tried to communicate with it. And this lady really should be. Cancel exactly. each other out. Great. After that, the corpusol. Interesting. What about, about what? Can't get I'm enough. glad you like them, but. All for now. There we go. Now we should be able to get the thing, right? That. There seems to be. Listen there closely. It must, listen. What are you doing? Oh no! Your head no. The sound. Come Keep back. your ears. There. Now we can. Get the Mama Dakwa. And let's go this way. I want to see if there are two things I want to see. I want to see if that shuttered area that's down here is open at night. And then if that goes nowhere, I want to see if we can get into Kuno's house now that it's nighttime. And then if neither of those work out, uh, I don't know. The wind howls from the coal chute above. It's a coal chute leads up to the roof.
glasses got smudged somehow. I guess I can check out the coal chute again, but my guess would be there's nothing we can do in here. Oh, buying a book passes time. Good to know. Although I think we can think of enough stuff that uh, it's not that hard to pass the time. A thick layer of coal dust covers the hollow ring. What? You feel something in your chest. I had a health left. Pressure. I had two health. It's spreading to your left arm. No, it's me. All you feel. I had two health left. Does that oh, did that take two health? Okay, here's the thing. It's like already past the time I would usually end a stream, so I think I'm gonna call this one here. Let me see if there's anyone to raid. I don't. Nobody who I usually follow is live. What's going on in the category? Um, lots of people with more viewers. Let's see here. Uh, I'm feeling indecisive at the moment, so I think I will just call the stream here. Good night, Plasticop. Good night, Crusader. Uh, SC Kid, if you are still here, good night. Uh, yeah, I will see you all on Wednesday for Persona.